hello there guys and welcome back to the uh, big fat psychic channel uh i've missed you over the past couple of days uh just been uh you know uh i've got a mum with alzheimer's and uh she's at the uh, terminal stage of copd uh and uh well thanks to the carers uh you know not giving her uh, life-saving uh, medication uh, there's been a drama, uh, a hospital admission, uh, the police involved, believe it or not, uh, social services, the respiratory team, the GP, uh, the pharmacy, uh, social workers, you name it, I've had it on my plate this week. So, you know, I thought uh, getting my mum in, into this nice little uh, bungalow, uh, the, oh, and she dropped, uh, I weighed her twice in the uh, last fortnight and she's lost uh, £13, uh, you know, she... She'll tell you she's eaten. You can't believe a word she says because she hasn't. She just because she hasn't got that memory there. She's going off how she feels, and because she hasn't been eating properly, she it takes very uh, little to make her feel uh, full. So yeah, still in the process of uh, working things out. Uh, got a few more days ahead uh, of a nightmare, and I just thought, you know, I thought bloody hell, once she'd moved in there and the staff was all sorted and everything else, uh, that. Oh, well, you know, very naively, <laughs> I, I thought that things would calm down, you know, uh, and it just seems now uh, that I'm battling, uh, not battling, but I'm having to oversee, you know, uh, about eight different staff that go in there each week to try and make sure what's being done is being done. Um, it's just, you know, it's draining. It's absolutely uh, draining. But on a positive note, uh, and it will be sorted, so, you know, I've just got to hang out in there. But it does actually, it worries me because I feel sick. I feel absolutely guilty uh, when I leave her at the house, you know. Uh, and you have to have, there's three things that you need uh, to, for a person to stay well. And that's the correct medication, the amount of right uh, food, and also keep hydrated uh, as well. And uh, all all three of them have been uh, you know taken away. Uh, if, you just need one out of sync to knock the rest out, and uh, it's just bloody hard work. So, but anyway, <clears throat> story about the cat. So obviously, uh, for those that don't know, <laughs> uh, my brother is a cheapskate basically. I'm sure, sure he uh, you know is proud of that title actually, uh, and he didn't take the cat to get neutered. Uh, he said it's a house cat. Don't, we don't need to worry, uh, you know. Yeah, l uh, last famous words. Anyway, so uh, I insisted because the cat is going to get out at some point, uh, and so I insisted on it being uh, castrated or whatever, neutered, spaded. What I don't know. Uh, but and a microchip put in, and I brought uh, bought a GPS tracker so you could track it on your phone. You know, if it ever gets away, uh, because it will crucify uh, my mum. She absolutely uh, lo loves that cat. Uh, so yeah, uh, so dropped uh, the cat off on uh, I think it was Tuesday, uh, and all I got the, on that night and the next day, uh, my mum ate. She's not eating, she's not drinking, she's just sat anywhere. So I said she'll come round. The vet said she'll take you know twenty four hours, uh, and then uh, oh, then then it turns to joy. Uh, you know, a few hours later, oh she she's up. She's up. Oh, she's been through a, she's been through trauma. She's been through a very traumatic time. Uh, she's had to go to the vets. I said, yeah, I know, Mum. I took her. Uh, but the funny thing is at the vets. So my husband picked the cat. Uh, he was on his way to work. So he picked the cat up in the morning from my mum's. Uh, put it in the cat basket and took it to the vets. But nobody. Uh, Nobody knew uh, the cat's name, and I didn't at the time, so I just book, booked her in under uh, Lily, because uh, that's all I could remember. And now she she has uh, since uh, called the cat Lily after a, a, a grandmother, so and I felt well, she'll remember that. And uh, anyway, so goes to pick the gay cat up. Well, they couldn't find her. They didn't know who she was or we was this and your friend. I was like, oh, what a palaver. Uh, I made the mistake of, uh, you know, cheesing off somebody by going to the uh, door uh, to walk to the reception, which was just literally there uh, and got hired out because uh, a family told, you know, go outside, you're not allowed to come in. I thought there was very, uh, I thought, God, if the, if that's all they talk to me. <laughs> 
How, how, how are they with the cat? Anyway, she came out with the uh, wrong cat basket. Then she came out with the uh, right cat basket. And then she came out with uh, a black and white cat. And I said, no, Lily's uh, all black. Uh, well, she, she it was like she stopped she stormed off. I don't I don't know if she I don't know what made her angry at that point. But I was like, no, Lily's black, <laughs> Lily's black. So anyway, uh, yeah, eventually reunited with the right cat basket and the right cat. And I just thought, what a palaver! And do you know this place? It's night night. Like I chose one of the best. You know, uh, it's in a, a very good area uh, and it's popular. You know, so. I chose that and I thought, oh my God, I don't think I'll be taking her back there again. But yeah, anyway, so this car has a GPS tracker, a microchip, a bloody collar now with its name on and my number. And uh, well, just let's hope it never comes to that. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's uh, what I've been doing the last couple of days. Uh, and of course, uh, I have been uh, writing out, uh, you know, questions, what we should be asking okay so uh, enough of me right it's all about you guys okay uh let's have a look then so we're gonna start with uh knock knock is that your home please <laughs> okay do you remember when we used to knock on the doors as kids and uh call for each other or even all day you know when we was adults uh we often had a neighbor next door that we you know always borrowing uh to your sugar or some or they was borrowing from us you know that those days uh seem ever ever so far away now okay so some people have asked me a load of uh like uh archy questions oh and by the way right so you know that photo uh shop not f them photos what I, I did of the uh oprah interview well can i bug i get anybody to take it on i uh i went to uh Yankee Wally didn't even get a response. I don't think she likes psychics. I don't know. I'm sure I had something before and she went, oh, I don't believe in them. But you know, I said basically in the email, I went, don't let you know, even though because it does say big fat psychic, done it in the email. So uh, I said, even though um, I'm a working psychic, don't let that cloud your judgment. Anyway, I've sent it to uh, Bookworm because she's good at stuff like that, you know. Uh, I actually quite. Uh, I've enjoyed watching her grow over the last uh, six months. So, yeah, uh, sent it to her. Haven't heard anything, so I don't know. I don't know. Did, did, uh, is it only me that thinks it was a big deal? Because <laughs> uh, nobody's interested, are they? <clears throat> There's such a lot going on with them. Anyway, uh, so let's have a look then. Um, why use... Uh, you, why you... Yeah, why use a, a fake Archie in that video, please? Why did they, they use a fake Archie? Well, in that episode, why use a fake heart at uh, uh, the beach on Erpusher? Uh, I've got wishes, I've got the Nine of Cups here, so I've kind of got somebody, uh, this can be uh, being happy uh, with yourself. Uh, so it's saying, yes, it was definitely uh, a fake heart, you know. Um, And I think it was their wishes, you know. They don't want him. That's right, isn't it? They don't want him uh, being seen. I don't know if you can see that, guys. Uh, nine of uh, yeah, nine of uh, cups. So yeah, they don't. It was their wishes uh, that they don't want him to to be seen. And another thing as well, right? Even though that uh, photo is in a black and white, it right people with ginger hair because I've looked at others and then. Looked at it with red hair and then looked at it, you know, black and white. Uh, that is the hair on the boy on the beach is not ginger, okay? It's dark. So what the hell was the Christmas card about, you know? And uh, was that just a piss and off, really, do you think? Because I thought it looked more like George uh, than, than them, okay? But, yeah, anyway, so it was their wishes... Uh, and they wanted to do what they liked, so uh, they did. 
and as well it's like dreams you know so it, i don't think they dreamed uh that it would be anything would be picked up on um and they thought it best that's what you know they thought it best it's it's all rather bizarre isn't it i mean do you know what like not being there don't want to bring oh don't want to sound negative right but in a way i'll, I'll just say it simple right so we know what charlotte looks like prince george and louis okay um <clears throat> If one of them kids went missing, we'd have we'd know, wouldn't we? Because they've been in our minds for like for years, and we we've seen plenty of pictures. Uh, so what about if her kid went missing? You know, nobody knows what it bloody looks like. Nobody, you know. Okay. Uh, so where was uh, the real Archie? Where was the real Archie? Oh, well, uh, you know, I'm getting messages regarding uh, a young person and uh, at work. <laughs> at work? Was actually at work? Uh, well, that's what I'm getting. Uh, I think or it could be, uh, you know, it was left with uh, somebody who was very young. I think these uh, Megan and Harry are going for younger stuff now because uh, they're not as... Uh, they can... Uh, Rad rough shot over him basically you know yeah they're not going to get that with a, a grown-up so i think there's a very young woman uh that's looking after uh archie and uh is paid to uh look after archie so i am getting young okay i'm not getting this is uh you know a 56 year old or even 40 uh, i am saying under the age of 25 here so you know maybe they've realized that you know with young people, uh, they can mould them and they can do all sorts to them, you know, uh, uh, and they'll try. Whereas somebody like us at our age, uh, 40 upwards, you know, we're going to say, eh, I don't think so. I don't think so. So your page of uh, ones there. Okay. Why do Meghan and Harry insist on such secrecy over Archie? Well, you've got me. <laughs> you know, when I go quiet, it's uh, there's something there. Right, okay. So you've got the fall reverse. You know I mean? They're treating us like falls. Uh, there's something uh, not right, obviously. I'm getting not here, you know. Uh, is he uh, with them? We'll get to that question soon. But I'm getting, you know, uh, we don't know all the, the facts uh, uh, about uh, Archie. Uh, basically whatever she's saying is the uh, reason is not the reason okay so she's not protecting him uh, that there's a uh... yeah I, I've got a, it's like trying to pull the wool over our eyes you know <clears throat> Right, I have to say, and I don't like saying it because like, it might make me sound like a, a, a an idiot, but you know, a couple of times I've got that Archie is not here or not with them, okay, uh, not with them. And uh, I did say there was a second house and now it's looking likely that, uh, you know, they do have a second house uh, staying at Oprah's or, or something. Um, I also said that... Uh, Harry would uh, work with children, you know, uh, vulnerable children, uh, people in his mindset. Uh, and he's he's done a book, apparently. Yeah, that's set to, to hit. Uh, but he's done a book, so I'm quite right there. So I'm going to say um, they don't have him. I can't believe that. I just can't. But I'm going to have to say it, you know, I'm going to have to say it because it's, it's not going away. It's for, forever in me. Uh, and as well, I'm on him. They feed me in uh, driplets, you know, of what I can handle. <laughs> and uh, let's put it this way. I thought, I thought my brain could handle a lot of things. But sometimes the things they come out with uh, or show me is like, it, it's too much of a, you know, a head, a head game. Uh, but yeah, I'm getting... 
yeah i'm getting the facts out real here okay so uh why such secrecy of uh archie probably because he's not here uh you know and they can't act with somebody that's not there I mean, this should all come out. I mean, can you imagine? There was once a film, you know, about a nanny having to look after uh, two children that she could never see, and apparently there was ghosts in the end. But, uh, you know, and it's kind of, uh, what what is this? Is this a, a phantom? What's going on? Uh, you know. So we've got, where was uh, real Archie? And we've got him with somebody very, very young. Please clarify, where is Archie? Well, there's an agreement, okay? There's an agreement, uh, like a, a promise being uh, kept. It's full of love. Uh, and it is uh, a partnership, so it's definitely with somebody else, okay? Uh, I'm getting uh, an agreement. So it could be uh, somebody's agreed to look after him just for a, a few days, uh, you know? Uh, have they lost uh, another uh, nanny or something you know somebody else stepping in i don't know it's all going to come out in the wash but uh so that's what i'm saying okay right does megan intentionally uh stare up uh, right okay why such secrecy over actually i'll just do a clarification on that um so what is the reality of the situation uh, with Archie I'm going to take two cards here uh, I'm going to take three then okay so uh, he's, uh, that's Harry uh, he used to be used to be uh, well liked you know uh, and he's uh, somebody's watching uh, there's another male uh, watching very aware of everything that's going on and then you've got, do you know, this is unbelievable because I've got these uh, two cards before. Uh, okay, so. Um, so what's the reality? So I say, Harry, a pregnancy, uh, and then not going ahead. Harry a pregnancy and then not going ahead so uh, as somebody like oops Uh, I've got I've got competition and uh, bickering, so the, there's arguments uh, about it uh, about Archie. Okay, so um, right, so you're telling me then that you know basically a bloke who uh, arranged a pregnancy deal uh, is not going ahead, uh, and they're trying to uh, solve it, and it's proven very difficult. Uh, they're all bickering uh, amongst themselves. Is the uh, is the surrogate of Archie? involved with a, in a dispute with Harry and Meghan uh, they're in a dispute with uh, with uh... right so there this it this this definitely is an uh, sorry uh, guys you I must admit the uh... Yeah, 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 I got it. So, uh, right, uh, so I think this woman feels that this surrogate feels like she could do a better job. Okay, she could do a better job. She's a, uh, uh, I think she's got an issue with uh, Megan, uh, certainly. Whereas I feel like with Harry, he's still like in favour, uh, but uh, Megan isn't. So yeah, I, I'm thinking she feels that she could do a a, a better uh, job. Okay, a better, better job than uh, what Megan is doing. Well, probably because you don't, you don't get, you know, you don't have a baby for it to be stuck with a uh, the nanny or what we call a childminder. Uh, you know, 
uh, all the sand here. I mean, oh, I don't know. It's very odd. It's very odd. Um, does Megan intentionally stir up uh, Archie storage? And she does, doesn't she, with uh, the bloody uh, the the film. Uh, the you know there's all sorts uh, you know she in the papers uh, people are letting things out uh, putting them on a bloody billboard uh, you know uh, sending out that stupid Christmas card uh, a mother of mother mother of my son uh, you know blah 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 there are loads aren't they of uh, stuff uh, you know David Foster uh, surrogate father <gasps> uh, you know yeah let's have a look uh, so does uh, Megan intentionally stir up uh, Archie stories as well don't forget about faking the pregnancy yeah, I mean, she's played all sorts of stories, hasn't she, between uh, in the pregnancy, you know, and I mean, some of it she has done herself, uh, adding a pillow or two, you know, looking uh, the size, uh, guess the size today, uh, you know, she she has. But let's uh, ask the cards. Uh, she intentionally uh, stirred up trouble with Archie. Yes, and all it makes her feel good, you know. It absolutely uh, makes her uh, feel good. I'm getting the uh, six of uh, pentacles. It's all about the cash, of course, you know. Uh, and yeah, she's uh, oh, this uh, all this uh, press and all you know. It's it's generated money, you know. Her and Archie have uh, generated money, will they, won't they? Everybody's still talking about it, you know, so she's uh, still in there. Uh, so, yeah, uh, she does intentionally stare. Oh, yes, she does. Six of Pentacles. Okay, uh, so was Archie uh, born of a, a surrogate? Well, uh, I'm getting, you know, Megan coming across of uh, being destructive and uh, insecure, uh, like it's too much uh, responsibility. I feel like uh, she's pushed too much on the surrogate. Uh, she made unreliable uh, promises and she has been uh, vindictive and spiteful. Now, that is uh, why uh, they've used Doria, okay? Uh, because uh, when it's family, you don't have that same issue. Uh, but, you know, I, I think... Uh, uh, I... Yeah, I'm just getting that, you know, I'm definitely getting that it was a surrogate. Uh, the relationship, though, I mean, she was very, very spiteful. Uh, so so what's she doing then? Is she not allowing anybody uh, to see Archie? Or what? Is she, uh, you know... I mean, does uh, uh, does that does the surrogate, you know, see Archie on a regular basis? Uh, I feel she feels uh, she's she's always in fear uh, of being uh, named and a cast out. You know, uh, it's like she's gonna she's. I think she's coming up to the point now where she is feeling like she has to admit it. Uh, uh, there'll be a lot of humiliation involved. I don't know why she feels uh, humiliated, uh, but she does. And I also feel like, uh, you know, she's made, she feels she's made a mistake uh, in this case, you know. Uh, she has made a mistake. Uh, so, yeah, I... What action is the uh, surrogate going to take uh, against her or is taking against Meghan and Harry for the next... Uh, what action is the surrogate taking against uh, Meghan and Harry regarding Archie? Okay, we've got three cards here. Three cards. Uh, well, obviously, she's not allowed to discuss anything or tell any of the newspapers, so she can't go uh, there, she can't say anything, she uh, can't even defend uh, herself, but I am getting uh, that there is a, a you know, there's a, a hidden group, uh, maybe uh, some court action, which a few months ago, I, I saw another court action, but I won't 
they had that many come in and I didn't know which one it was. So, uh, yeah, so I think there's uh, been hidden discussions here. Um, and uh, it's as if she doesn't know who to trust uh, at all, does a surrogate. It's as if, uh, yeah, I think uh, Harry and Meghan have put out uh, NDAs and, uh, you know, uh, like behaving like a uh, tyrant. She's also frightened, you know, that the sugars will uh, uh, it'll reach all over uh, and things get out of control, you know. And, I mean, you've got the floor and the five reverse there. Uh, that's uh, together. So, yeah, I definitely say that there's, uh, you know, uh, some something uh involved maybe as well uh with the palace you know i mean you've got your two pillars there so uh there could be uh, uh discussions there um maybe she feels she was bullied as well oh my god don't say the surrogate's going to come forward and uh make an allegation of uh you know uh, uh not being treating treated correctly i i think there's a uh, uh, potentially for, for lots of uh, avenues uh, to, to come up. Uh, there's so many people that are going to go uh, and gun for, for Meghan and Harry. Um, and uh, my instincts are, my instinct is asking me, uh, my instincts are, yeah, I do feel uh, that, I do feel it'll come out in the wash. I know she's gravely, gravely, uh, uh, you know, uh, afraid and i think uh megan's like and they'll tear you apart once they know you are you know uh, all the sugars and all these powerful uh people you know she's definitely uh being uh threatened and i mean this woman who's a surrogate right she's married okay and she already has children she has a, a family and she's quite happy it's not like a young lass has gone out and carried the baby uh you know without a second thought uh i, I feel that this woman knew what she was doing uh and uh you know and maybe has done it before you know as a, for a surrogate uh so she has experience but <laughs> well nobody's got any experience of uh of dealing with uh megan and harry and uh managed to to come out of it with uh you know something relatively nice to say so yeah she's uh she's a goner i think um this will leak through uh the papers okay because i'm getting creativity and uh we create the news you know as megan says if you don't like uh you know your reality create a, a new one uh so yeah it could be uh that as well uh coming down so i think there's a uh, this woman has probably received uh threats of uh being named okay uh so but yeah, there's definitely uh, you know, I think it's it is it's about she's it's it's got to be. It's got to be, it's got to be, I'm getting it, it's it's there, it's there. The palace, okay. They're gonna tell the she's gonna tell the palace, she's gonna come forward and say, Look, this happened to me, blah blah blah. You know, and I was a surrogate, uh, which they know of obviously. Uh so yeah, uh, that's why there's a lot of that uh, a lot going on in the background, okay a lot going on in the background okay and it's going to come out it's going to come out in the uh bullying thing i mean megan's megan markle is going to wish she'd never been born oh okay so um does the surrogate have concerns for for archie in megan's care we got to Well, isn't that funny? Oh, uh, uh, well, isn't that funny? I think uh, she's tried to go to. Uh, she's approached uh, Megan, uh, and and she's like something's tried to be uh changed okay so but i just feel that you know where she was she was getting uh, nowhere with uh harry and megan uh going through with them so you know i think she's uh she's now waiting uh for 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 others uh evidence to to come out and uh you know she will go she will uh because they bullied her you know that's what it is they bloody bullied her uh 
they've turned on it and that's why you know obviously the surrogate hasn't gone ahead and done another one uh and that's why uh dory has had to to set you know to to do it so uh you know and i'm getting that I think uh, as well, uh, Archie doesn't live uh, where where they say uh, he lives, okay? So she knows this, that Archie is not living uh, in the house they, they say he is, okay? So... Does a surrogate want custody of Archie? No, she, she, she'll she sit this one out. So she doesn't want to be the parent, but I think what she does, she's concerned that Archie is on his own uh, a, a lot uh, and that they're not with him uh, and maybe other travelling, you know. I mean, who would do that? Go on holiday and leave your kid, you know, with a, a bloody nanny that you don't even know, uh, you know. I don't know, there's something I miss here, but anyway, so he's not living where she says he is. Uh, uh, but they, I guess the surrogate does uh, have uh, concerns uh, and I, I don't think it's the fact that she wants to take him off her uh, oh I don't know, I just know that it's all coming out it's just all coming out, you know oh I tell you what, uh, the you know, the, the surrogate does worry uh, and have uh, concerns for Archie, especially with his mum being so spiteful. You know, she probably thinks that Harry is uh, workable and pliable, uh, but Me Megan just gives her nightmares. Honestly, Meg, and as well, don't forget uh, the whole situation about being found out. You know, she doesn't want to. She's absolutely terrified of uh, being found out. Okay. So, uh, is the woman in brown uh, that I showed on the uh, proof archer video is uh, fake? Uh, is she the surrogate? Is woman in brown Megan surrogate? No, that's what it said. Uh, no, and do you know what? He said that uh, a few months ago uh, when I when I asked uh, the same question, but I just wondered if it would uh, change. You know, uh, I I think that woman lacks uh, the ability. Uh, she won't. Well, oh, I know you're throwing me because I'm getting lacking ability. So uh, she doesn't lack the ability, does she? Because she's pregnant now. Uh, cowardly acts. Yeah, she's a coward. Uh, she won't come forward at all uh, and she definitely won't uh, come uh... oh well okay did the woman in brown give birth to Archie uh, getting feeling trapped stuck unable to moan Well, if it was her, uh, she certainly, uh, in, she's not clever enough to come forward. I don't think it's her. I don't think it's her. Can we have a yes or no card, please? Is Archie uh, born of the woman in the pictures, brown and compared? No. Nah. No. Nah. No, I just uh, I, I don't feel she was a bit of a attention seeker. So you know she must have loved it when Megan hugged her outside the uh, church or whatever it was. Or was that? Um, you know, I think she may have been uh, feeling trapped and stuck and unable to move forward. So she might have been working for her. <laughs> she may have been working for uh, Megan. Uh, but uh, you know she she it's saying she lacked uh, the ability uh, and she won't come forward. I think she has been. Uh, 
she knows uh, of situations that have gone on but no she's not coming forward at all uh, as a uh, surrogate okay uh does uh where does uh the surrogate live I'm gonna say Scotland and I'm gonna I have to I have to it's like they've been there before so uh so the place where somebody fell out and paid off the place where somebody fell out and paid off it has to be the UK okay it has to be the UK because that's when I was here uh I'm seeing waves uh but I'm seeing like turbulent waves and then I've got near Scotland. I mean, is it Scotland? Oh, uh, ah, oh, who's the, uh, can't believe I missed that. Who's the red and white flag? Who's the red and white flag? Okay. So, uh, you'll have to let me know wherever it is. It's, uh, you know, it's there. Uh, the flag's there. <laughs> I never saw that. Oh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, uh, so it, it is uh, the surrogate lives uh, in the UK, definitely. Uh, I've got that uh, red and white uh, flag, so, uh, you know, I don't know if you can see it, guys, but it's uh, red across there. So uh, I, I think that's our flag. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe. Ooh. Yeah, she, so the... Uh, Bloody hell. So the surrogate does live in the UK. Okay. Right. So, um, what's coming up uh, regarding information wise about Archie, uh, surrogate, uh, uh, and anything else, you know? So, can I have a, like, Three cards. Coming up about Archie, uh, you know, that, that oh, well, uh, there's a, a freeway situation. Uh, the, 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 you know, they can't get the title, can they? You know, you don't deserve one anyway. But, uh, you know, cut them off. Cut them right off. Uh, and, uh, you know, that make, make of a man, not... Uh, yeah, it's make of a man, not bloody, uh, you know, give him everything. Uh, I've said this before. Uh, you know, some people leave their uh, money to, to kids uh, when they're dead. Uh, after death, sorry, but... No, man aren't getting a penny. Because at the end of the day, uh, I've taught them all to be self-sufficient. They're, they're absolute survivors, you know, and thrivers. Uh, you know, they have paid for uh, the education uh, and supported them, uh, paid the rents, uh, you know, got them the driving licenses, paid for the mobile phones. I did everything, uh, you know, got them to all the best clubs, got them to this, got them to that. So, no, I've spent my money on them uh, and uh, that's enough. And, uh, no. Nope. I just uh, uh, agree. Spend your money with them, you know. Don't know why I'm saying that. that anyway. Uh, so, yeah, I, I get that kind of situation. Uh, they're still not happy trying to make things work. Uh, but, you know. Uh, oh, uh, are they going to be uh, unconsciously coupling? You're going to get a lot of false stories uh, re regarding uh, Archie, uh, of course. Uh, what One minute he's, uh, you know, climbing uh, the uh, frame uh, and then, uh, you know, he's going up the, the slide himself or, you know, I don't know, because just like all bullshit uh, stuff, really. Uh, fluff pieces, really, that nobody's really interested uh, in, of course. Uh, I do, uh, you know, I do know this. Uh, uh, there, there will be a situation where uh, it turns, uh, uh, and it's regarding Archie. So I don't know why, but it's saying that you know uh, they'll do a project, then they won't do a project, then they're going to do a project. No, they're not going to do the project. That's how I, I can feel, as if uh, he can't be relied upon, uh, and. Um, 
there is a, a, a damaging situation here. There is a three-way situation, so that could be uh, to do with uh, the surrogate. Uh, I'm getting you can't rely on somebody. Uh, and, uh, of course, money yeah, being held back. Uh, so they want it. They just don't want to work for it. You know, you're going to get uh, some uh, news that is, uh, you know, uh, uh, about... Maybe they're not happy with the way they, you know, they treated Archie. You know, we're gonna get uh, more stuff, um, and yeah, it's just, uh, it's just outrageous. Actually, it's just outrageous. So, I'm also getting there that some, you know, it's like there's something they haven't been told yet. There's something they haven't been told, uh, and it's going to upset them uh, greatly upset them greatly okay so uh yeah and they're not gonna they don't want to work it out you know what i mean you've got the free there reverse you've got the three of pentacles reverse uh you know you've got the knight of swords reverse all these cards are just uh the harming themselves so it's just more and more uh d disaster uh to come but yeah expect a, a complete uh false uh allegation or you know there'll, there'll be something uh oh, it's false it's false it's false but you know they're they're uh cunning absolutely cunning okay so uh that's that for uh for archie okay i hope you've enjoyed it i hope we've uh tried to get some ha answers uh and uh i'll be back with you shortly okay <gasps> right then bye now bye bye